good morning. I think we're just a few seconds early, so up oh, seven o'clock. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh my God, it's Friday. Thank the Lord. Um, we get a little rest the next couple of days. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so thankful uh, to have made it through this first week of uh, live streaming, devotion, and prayer. Thank God for um, his wisdom and his mercy and his grace. Um, he has sustained us all, um, Minister David and Minister Ella and myself. Um, this is challenging. However, um, it's good. It has stretched us, and I'm thankful uh, for this stretching. Um, today, I woke up with what a friend we have in Jesus on my mind. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Um, that says so much because God in his infinite wisdom has provided for us in so many ways. I don't even think we even think about how many ways God has provided for us. Um, but anyway, let me not get stuck there because I could just get happy right there. So um, this week we focused on conquering fear. Um we talked about the promises of God. We talked about how to take scripture and pray scripture over whatever it is we're fearing, you know, to find a specific scripture about what's bothering us or the issue and praying scripture over it. Um, we talked about putting on the whole armor of God. Um, and we talked about being focused, focus, using our wisdom and knowledge to get peace. And that um, is a way in um, confessing our sins to one another in order to get rid of shame and guilt. So that's kind of where we were um, this week. Um, today, I would like to talk about kind of sort of our identity um, in God in Christ. I um, want to look at 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. And it says, Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. In this scripture, the word liberty is Greek, the Greek word eleutheria, which means freedom, to be free, to be exempt, to be unrestrained, and free from yoke. In this case, our yoke is, is fear. So where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom from fear. Um, that's the first scripture um, I'd like to look at. Um, the second one, and I'm going to show you guys this. I don't know how much of it you can see. It looks like a jumbled mess, but um, other things that I've done this week is showed I share with you different ways that I've learned um, to get understanding from the scripture. And this is called journaling, scripture journaling. So um, I started a journal on the 23rd Psalm. And in the very first scripture, I learned something so fabulous and um, I'd just like to share a little bit of that with you um, this morning. So where it says, the Lord is my shepherd, 
I could just stop right there. Um, of course, we know we think of the shepherd as the person who tends the um, the sheep or the cows or whatever's in the pasture, um, teach, tending the flock. So, but the one thing that I don't think a lot of us realize is it also means um, to associate with, to be companions, and to be a special friend. So I'm like, okay, in Jesus, I am his special friend. Okay, so we, you know, in our in this life, when we have friends that are special to us, we tend to do special things. We go out of our way. Um, we love them, and in the acts of love, we just do whatever we're supportive. Uh, when they're short, we help provide. Uh, just I don't know. You do whatever you do from your heart to be a good friend to your friend. And I believe that God does the same. He has given us so many different, um, everything he gives us is more than we can imagine. We might ask for something, but the very thing we ask for, not only is he going to supply, but he's going to give us exceedingly, exceedingly and abundantly. So, I think it's important to know that we are special to God. That's first and foremost. He sees us as companions, someone to associate with, and we are a special friend to him. So that alone is exciting as well. So to support um who we are in Christ to support helping us find our identity I want to share some scriptures with you um Jeremiah 20 well I'm going to share scriptures with you however these scriptures I have made confessions so that in times where I get shaky or I'm knocked off balance, I can go back to my notes and say, nope, this is where I am in Christ. This is where I am in God. This is my identity. I am because God is. So uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, God's thoughts towards me are of peace and not of evil. To give me an expected end. He has shaped my future. Um, I want to go to Ephesians 4 and 7. God has given me grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Um, also, Deuteronomy 28 and 6. The Lord will keep my going out and my coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And then my favorite, Philippians 1 and 6. I am confident of this very thing, that the good work, the good work God has begun in me, he will perform until the day of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. So I know that these scriptures tell me that God have my best interest at heart. Everything about me, he has planned, he has ordained, even the, even the pain, but even in the pain, we should look for the good. What is this I need to learn? How is this preparing me for the next step? How is this, um, preparing me to witness to my brother or my sister or be an example to my brother and sister, letting them know that 
yes, it can be painful, but the pain doesn't last always. And so um, knowing who we are in Christ and God is very important, very paramount. I don't know how well you guys can see this little card. See, it's even got stains on it. But <clears throat> this is my card I started, I don't know how many years ago, maybe a couple of years, as I was learning my identity in Christ. And I keep it in my wallet and I add to it. See, it's, this is the front. This was the beginning. And then here's the back. And I've added to it. As I receive revelation from God, um, I have things on it like, I am justified and no condemnation awaits me. I'm righteous and holy in Christ. I am a new creature. I receive God's righteousness. Um, I am nearer to God. I share in the promises of Christ. I can come with freedom, confidence, and boldness um, into the presence of God. I'm a member of Christ's body in the church. I am set free from my sinful nature. I have e eternal glory. And I can go on and on and on. Those are just some examples. So, <clears throat> what I really would like to drive home from the whole week is that God has given us his love, his grace, and mercy. He's given us the Holy Spirit to guide us. He's given us angels of protection. He's given us Jesus to be our brother and our friend. And he's given us each other to support one another. So to fear, I'm going to say bye-bye. Farewell so long. We all have the victory. Yeah, we have the victory. Wonderful, powerful. We have the victory. So, um, I want to say to you, I look, this has been an honor and a pleasure to serve this week. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week and in continuing our uh, faith journey. Um, I haven't mentioned the corona um, epidemic purposely, uh, but today I will say that um, God is good and he is sovereign and he will keep us all. He will protect us all and we don't have to live in fear. We do not. Um, I just, I just have this enormous amount of peace in my spirit where all of this is related and um, I'm focused on the prize I'm focused on God and that is how I'm remaining in peace um, do I have concerns of course because like I said the other day you know those of you guys who know me know that I do have health challenges. However, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because I know God is my healer. And I know God is my protector. And I hope that during this week, something has been said to help encourage you, to help you know that you know, to help you to have learned I am because God is. Okay, let's pray. Father God, thank you. We thank you for this day. Father, we desire to be like the woman who poured the oil on Jesus' feet. She broke the seal on her past and her fears 
and poured out her future in worship at the feet of Jesus. Jesus, you were broken for us. And we want to be broken for you. We want to pour out our life's work, our worldly possessions, our gifts, and <clears throat> our abilities at your feet. We need your help to do this. Father, <clears throat> in freedom, in freedom, Lord God, in our liberty, knowing who we are in you and through you without fear, we want your desires to be our desires. You've made time and space for us. Forgive us for praying and living like we know better than you. Help us focus our prayers on getting out of the self zone. Father, let your desire let your desires become the desires of our heart. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord God. We love you, we trust you, and we believe your word to be true. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so please join Minister David at noon today. Join Minister Ella at uh, 7 p.m. Have a great, great weekend. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so first song this morning was What a Friend We Have in Jesus. But the second song is Kirk Franklin's Where the Spirit. I think it's Where the Spirit Is. Um, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, the captives are made free, the wounded are made whole, and there is rest for your soul. Where the Spirit is, there is liberty. Yes, 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 yes. I got one more thing I think I'll leave with you because it, it just came to my mind. Give me one second to find it. Um, 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 um. I don't know who this belongs to, so let me preface this. This does not belong to me, but it resonates in my spirit. Where there is love, there is life. Where there is life, there is hope. Where there is hope, there is faith. And where there is faith, miracles happen. Where there is peace, there is God. And when you have God, you have everything. Remember, we are because God is. Have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you next week.